Welcome everybody to Ecom Emergency episode number four. So this is the fourth stall that I've actually dissected for you and your viewing pleasure. I hope you're all enjoying these sessions. Today's gonna to be a challenging one. Today we're looking at a product that has sold, what, 2,500 units, which is pretty great. But it's a well-saturated niche, which is honestly a good thing, but hasn't sold well. And I'm gonna do everything I can do and look at all the analytics to figure out what we can do to change this and turn this store around. The product that we're looking at is Cozy Me Full Body Pillow. It essentially was a pregnancy pillow. And I kind of said to the owner of this store, hey, you know, pregnancy is great and all, but if you sell this pillow to more people and get more people interested, and have a wider audience, you're gonna do better. But that comes with its own set of complicated problems. And we're gonna look at all those problems today and see if we can figure out what's wrong with this business and can we fix it? Hint, we probably can. Hey guys, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for watching my video and checking out my channel. I am absolutely obsessed with all things e-commerce, if you couldn't tell. And in my e-commerce career, I've actually become a meta business partner and I've built myself a handful of six, seven, and even eight figure Shopify stores. And this channel is going to have all the golden nuggets that are gonna help you in your career to make small incremental changes and find your own success. I really hope you enjoy the content on the channel. And if you do, I'd love a like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Now, if you need more help, I'm here to help you. There's a link in the description of this video that will take you to my Upwork profile where you can book 60 minutes or 30 minutes with me. And I'll be happy to show you behind the curtains of my store, how it works, how all my emails work, how all my uh, Facebook ads work. And we can look at all the things in your store that may be causing you to have conversion issues or revenue issues and help you achieve your revenue goals. The link is in the description. I'd love to work with you. Shopify analytics, we're gonna be looking over the last seven days, just to have a look at it, a bit of a glimpse of real-time data from recent times. $400 worth of sales. 6% of users have added to cart. 2.2% uh, have reached checkout and 1.69 have converted. Well, hey, got some good news for you. Those add to cart values are bloody amazing. Good job there. The reach checkout, well, it'd be lovely to get that up between three and 4%. That's usually the amount of reach checkouts that I'm liking to try and aim for, but your sessions converted here at 1.69, well, that needs a lot of improvement. We'll see if we can figure out how we can improve that today. Let's take a look over a longer period of time just to see if these numbers actually add up or if this was a glitch in the data. So over the last 90 days, we got 4.86% added to cart. So that's come down a little bit over a longer period of time, which means we probably have probably have some work to do in how we position this product. 3.2% have checked out, and that's looking a lot healthier. That's nice, actually. Not too bad at all. And only 1.28 have over a longer period of time gone and checked out. So there are things that we can do to help with that. Now, these statistics that I show you are a bit of a ballpark figure. When I'm saying that I like to get between five and 6% add to carts, more is better. If you can get more, terrific. But if you're only getting between four and six, we can work with that. We can work with that. I've got stores that get that and still turn a profit. Reach checkout. Uh, we want to get between three and 4% reach checkout. If you've implemented a good email system, you're going to capture those people who are trying to check out and, and you're going to lead them down the checkout process and hopefully get them converted. But 1.28% is pretty low for sessions converted. And there's a lot of factors to, to consider as to why it could be that low. We're going to see if we can find some of those today. Before we look at your website, I wanted to actually show you a couple of the competitors that I found in your niche. Now I found my competitors using my favorite tool, Foreplay. If you want a great tool to search through Facebook ads, find competitor products, I would always recommend Foreplay. This tool is amazing. I would be recommending this tool for you even if I didn't have an affiliate link. So a competitor I found of yours is Berebi. Now Berebi have a great looking website. These guys have a pretty amazing website. It's clear, mostly white, and looks very professional. I love the close-ups of their fibers, which are really important when you're selling a cushion. They have a different kind of cushion. It's got a, it's almost like a snake, which is pretty cool. 
I love the fact that they're showing this girl in all different positions. It's just, it's just chilling and enjoying. Um, we've got lots of nice selling points here with nice logos that are fantastic. Really good imagery and a very simple layout. The other... Ooh, that's pretty cool how it ties in a knot. The other competitor that I wanted to show you was this, this one, Baby Bub. This is an actual maternity pillow. Kind of similar to yours, but I gotta say their website design really looks a lot neater and sort of more trustworthy. But a very trustworthy type of approach, very calm and very soothing website. I really dig this one. So a couple of competitors that we're dealing with. I wanted to show you these ones first because that'll make more sense when I actually show you your website and, and how I perceive this website as I, as I log in and, and take a look. Cozy Me. This is where most people are dropping in from Facebook. So we have your homepage here. I'm not gonna really talk too much about your homepage. I do like it. Enhanced sleep, better rest. I, I like your, um, your words. 50% off plus free delivery, cool. Uh, I like your picture here. Your products, your pictures don't look that inviting, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But thing is, this is your homepage. And your homepage isn't as important as your product page because not that many people are gonna actually be clicking on the homepage and checking this out. They're most likely gonna go straight to your product page, which is what you're promoting on Facebook. But I do wanna talk about the colors. Now, when you showed me your website originally, I did I do like the green and, and the yellow here. It does remind me of Australia but it reminds me of something different. It reminds me of Kmart Australia. It reminds me of cheap stores, like a Aussie made, just keeping it prices down for the locals kind of thing. What you need to be going for is a cuddly, warm approach because we're selling coziness, we're selling cuddliness, we're selling comfort. And I don't know, something about the green and yellow to me sells bargain, not comfort. Problem is your prices aren't bargain. So I think we need to come about this slightly differently. Let's look at your full body pillow. Cozy me full body pillow. One thing I love is this product image. Oh my God, that looks inviting. This thing looks huge. And you got bestseller. You got some great, amazing icons there. I love it. I love all your product images. They look amazing too. This product looks great. Ah. I may have been mistaken when I looked at your analytics. I was under the impression that we could choose a color. And you know what? That might be detrimental to your... Oh, okay. I think I get it. I think I get it. We buy the cushion and then we buy the pillowcase. Okay. Might be an idea though, because if I'm having this, this thought right now, I don't like this color and I can't drop down to buy the color. You might want to consider having the color of the, of the pillowcase right here above the add to cart button and for us to check because it should be cozy me plus pillowcase. That allows you to have an, another upsell unrelated to this in the cart page, which is, I'm, I'm assuming that's what you're doing. I'm assuming you have a, an upsell in the cart page to say, hey, choose your, your pillowcase. Now the difference between your site and their site, it, it is nice, lots of white space, which I love. It's just not as cozy. And while I do like your, your text, the coziest, most supportive comfort companion that you've been waiting for, that's fantastic. Your copy is great. Don't like this image at all. This image does make the product look very cheap because this zip it looks like a cheap zip from China, if I'm going to be completely honest. So maybe take that one out and replace it with something else, like a close up of the fibers, perhaps. The rest looks good, but if I'm looking at your statistics and I'm seeing that we have a 1.3 more or less conversion rate, and we want to look at ways to make this better, well, your website layout is probably the biggest thing to change. But when you're selling something of comfort, look at your competitors, go back, Take a look at these guys and what can you learn from their beautiful layouts and designs? They've got these big sections here dedicated to your comfort. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, hey, Chris, that's all fair, well and good, but how in the hell do I make a website this beautiful? Well, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. To make a website this beautiful, you would go and install an app like Zipify Pages. Zipify Pages, it's made by the same people that bought us the Zipify one-click upsell. And in my view, Zipify Pages has become my go-to because one, it's free. It's free if you only have one product that you want to test this on. They only ask you to pay if you start using it on your homepage, which I would recommend because the homepages this thing can generate are great. And so you can do a lot with this tool for free. And two, it makes incredible looking landing pages. So here's one that I 
created myself for the last product that we were promoting the hydrogen water bottle and I'm gonna say I was very pleased with this the way that it helps you formulate your page brings it to life so good news is you're nearly there like you got a cool looking website and you're nearly there and this isn't going to be too much work for you to sit here and just let your creativity explode into Zipify pages creating an awesome landing page I do think it's going to make a big difference to your business what we want to do next is take a look at your emails one thing I need to say about emails is that emails are the most fundamentally important part of your business without your emails your sales engine is not going to flow this is the part of your engine that's your fuel run through your burn with your fuel being your leads leads are people who've seen your facebook ad and dropped on your website and given you their email address so when people come to me and say hey my store's not working usually it means that emails aren't working this has been a reoccurring theme that i've seen through the websites that i've been doing in the e-commerce emergencies if you take anything away from these videos, please understand the more work you put into your emails, the more money you will make. And just to show you, watch this. This is just my automations here. And let me just pull my head into the middle of the page here. So we're looking at like my new customer thank you, 131,000 US dollars, by the way. Abandoned checkout, $1,000. It's actually a new automation that I'm running, so that's why it's so low. My buy or die, which is my welcome series, 23,000 US dollars. Browse abandonment, something that very few of you are running, $167,000. My SMS welcome series, just a welcome series for people who give me their, 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 their mobile phone number, 2,500. Abandoned cart, 22,000 US dollars. And my repeat customer thank you. So this is not just my customer thank you, they get in one. They got 131,000 up here. Repeat customer, thank you. $70,000. Where's my mic? I need to do a mic drop. 70,000 bucks. Guys, you need to be focusing on emails. You need to focus on emails more than anything else. More than Facebook ads, in my opinion. More than website copy. Emails, emails, emails. Cozy Me has only got abandoned checkout and welcome flow. And in that welcome flow, only one conversion, which is very surprising because we've been running this for a while now. We've had $2,100 or, 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 or roughly $2,000 in sales, but we've had hardly any people coming through the email system and there isn't much to go through here. Clavio is saying to you, hey, keep up the good work. You got some flows, great. These are all the flows that Clavio wants you to create and all you have to do to create these flows, is just click get started. That will get you started. It won't be, they won't be as, as fruitful as mine might have been running for a while. I've been running A-B tests on all of the emails in my flows for years to figure out which emails are the best emails to run at specific times. You've got a long way to go to get there. But first, you've got to start by creating these flows here. Okay? Now, in terms of sign-up forms, this is the tricky bit. We want people to sign up. 30 people have signed up to this form, but a 7.4% conversion rate. That's a pretty good conversion rate. Now, for a product like this, this is an exciting thing about these products. When I sell products like these, like enrichment products, products that make people's lives better, I personally find that you should probably run a test whether or not you do a pop-up form for 10% off, whether or not you put a pop-up form for $10 off, or whether or not you do a wheel spinner. One of these guys here, a wheel spinner. Why would I recommend a wheel spinner? You might think most people would think this is complete garbage and would just click, no, I don't feel lucky and just dismiss the page. But no, actually, I have a 13% sign up rate on my wheel spinning app. And I do suggest Wheelio as your wheel spinning app. I've tested the wheel spinning apps inside OmniSend. I've tested them inside the app store. There is something about the Wheelio app, the way they anticipate when the user is actually going to leave the website seems to me far more advanced than the other apps that I've used. They seem to capture people leaving the website a lot better than other apps. And the way that it loads into screen, I think is fantastic. It, it, it's a patent interrupt, it breaks the cycle, which is not always what you want for all products. But for a product like a cushion, I'd recommend this. Give it a try perhaps. If you can get a 13% sign up rate like I did and capture more and more emails of people who, who wanted to look at the product but weren't ready to commit, 
put their email in anyway, they go through your whole email engine and eventually, hopefully they order from you. So give this a try for this niche, in my opinion, give this a try. Okay. So we got when the visitor exit the, exits the page, cool. And after a time delay, I think 10 seconds is a little bit too, too quick in my current testing that I've been doing between 20 and 30 seconds is a good time to pop up before. Now in terms of flows, we've only got abandoned checkout and we've only got your welcome flow. So of course, please go and make all those new flows as we already discussed inside your welcome flow. Okay. First big problem here. We have conditional split. Has anyone opened this email since starting? And if they haven't, they only get sent one more email and then they don't get sent anything else. So dang, you're wasting, you're wasting a lot of your contacts here. I don't think that's what you want. I would recommend you get rid of this conditional split. Uh, and then, so we've got one email, two emails, three emails, four emails with two and three days in between. Look, it's, it's too long of a wait between emails. I like to email my people once a day. If they're in my welcome series, they get an email from me every day. And I do this for seven or eight days. All right, so we've talked. Analytics, let's take a look at your Facebook ads. Oh, by the way, this is Barabee on Facebook. This is how I know that this is a really good niche for you, by the way. When you're trying to figure out if you should stay in the niche, you need to look at your competitors. So you look them up in the Facebook ads library. When you see ads like this that have been running for like a couple of days, that's like, fair enough. People, they're changing their ads up. Maybe they're not a great brand. But then when you come down and you see that they've got ads running for the last two weeks, even more exciting. These images are working and these ads are working or they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be running them. Then you come down, you see they've been running these ads since January and then you know, well, they actually know what their best selling, their best selling product is. The hand knitted weighted blankets are doing really, really, really well. But also know that this niche is big and profitable. Looking at your, we have middle of funnel, one purchase. At, ooh, yeah, turn your middle of funnel off. We don't really have any need to be, to be continuing this right now at $225 per purchase. That should just be turned off. That's not working really well. Middle of funnel campaigns don't always work for everybody. In terms of top of funnel, 16 purchases at $98 a purchase. Okay, this is promising. $30 a day budget, not bad, okay. Advantage plus audience. Okay, so this is reaching a wide range of people in your ad set here. We've got three purchases at 83, one purchase at 42, three purchases at $36 a purchase. Whoa, dude, if you just turn off some of these ads that aren't really working, this could really work well for you. $40 a purchase. This one here, A3. I'll be turning off F4. I can leave F2 for a bit longer just to see if it works. Turn off your ads that aren't really working. I'd be turning, I'd just be running with your A3 for now at $36 a purchase and maybe E2 at $53 a purchase and D2 at $42 a purchase. Turn everything else off. Implement everything that I've said today and I think you will actually find this website turns around. So there you have it guys. We've looked in depth at the analysis, the ads, the website, the competitors. We know, oh, and, and the emails. We know this product is being sold or similar products being sold and are successful in this niche. So while I would recommend adding other products from this niche and testing them out too, I wouldn't do that until you've fixed up your emails, until you've really had a look at the look and feel of your website. And then lastly, you've, turn off the ads that aren't working and maybe have a look at creating similar ads to those that are working. I think this business definitely has legs and I would love to come back and review this in a few weeks time once you've made those changes and had a few more sales. And I will see you guys in the next video.